This week, I'm in my hotel room in Denver, Colorado. I'm here for a seminar and also personal one-on-one -on -one spiritual encounters. If I haven't had a chance to pray with you yet in a face-to-face -face encounter, come to a seminar city or our ministry center in Phoenix, Arizona. A little over a week ago, I was in Detroit, Michigan for a seminar. And when it came time to open the doors that night and let the crowd in at the seminar, I was shocked at what I saw. First in line were about two dozen Satanists, most of them dressed in black, some of them in long flowing robes, sporting all kinds of demonic paraphernalia, especially Baphomet images of the goat personification of Lucifer and pentagrams. When they came in the door, they headed right for the front row. They wanted to be there to see the action. Some wanted selfies, and others had their picture taken with me. For those of you who don't know who this was, it was the Satanic Temple, a fast-growing Satanic cult. I've written several blogs about them, and you can read them and get more information. The Satanic Temple isn't like the kind of nudes on the altar Satanism that Anton LaVey of Satanic Bible fame promoted. They're not even like the Temple of Set who believe in a real devil. These people are in your face. And to them, it's not all about lust and sensuality. It's about the First Amendment and putting up their demonic goat-worshipping symbols of Satan in the public square and filing lawsuits so they can get in front of legislative gatherings and give the invocation and yell out, Hail Satan! Why did I let them in? Why did I let them take up a significant part of the audience? The answer is simple. Jesus told us in Luke 6, 27 to love our enemies. Mark 16, 15 tells us to preach the gospel to every creature. These Satanists, whatever their reason for being there that night, saw an amazing exorcism. And the leaders were right there on the front row, up close and personal. They could see what was happening. A loving Christian mother violently manifested a demon and had an amazing deliverance by the power of Jesus Christ. What they saw was a demonstration of the reality of Jesus Christ, the authenticity of exorcism. That's why I let them be there. That's why I debated them and took time to talk with them. In fact, some of them had copies of my books, even some earlier books like Satanism, the Seduction of America's Youth, Smiling Sermons, and Polite Religious Relevancy is not going to reach these kinds of people in the last days. Satan has come out full force in our culture. We are facing a showdown with Satanism, and only by demonstrating the power of Jesus Christ as this ministry does can we win the war against this evil. That's why our International School of Exorcism is raising up an army of warriors for Christ who will be willing to go forth and face the forces of hell and to win this showdown with Satanism.